students, it's me again, Teacher Hannah. I am so excited to learn with you about how families are important. Are you ready to join with me in our lesson today? That's great! In this video, we will discuss Lesson 5D, Love at Home, the Right to a Family. Let's start our lesson! Last time, I invited you to do something to make your family happy. Were you able to do it? Amazing! I want to hear more about it. But first, let's sing our song to get us all pumped up for our lesson. Oh, here we are together, together, together. Oh, here we are together in our happy face. Oh, here we are together in our happy place. I want to know more about what you did to make your family happy. Did you give them a hug? Tell them that you love them? Give compliments? These are all amazing ways to make our family happy. I hope my invitation helped you understand how words and our actions have an effect on the people around us. Let's always try to find ways to make others happy, especially our family. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Teacher Hannah. You mentioned last time that you lived with your aunt, right? Yes, I did. Can you tell me and our friends how does your aunt takes care of you? Well, she does a lot of things. She makes sure that there's food at home. She keeps all my clothes clean. She helps me with homework. She does a lot of things. You have a great aunt, Sarah. You must feel very loved. I do. What about you? How does your family take care of you? That's so nice. I want to tell you about Johnny and his family and how they take care of each other. This is Johnny when he was a little boy. He had a family who loved him and took good care of him. Johnny's father often took him to work in the wood shop. He taught Johnny how to smooth the wood and make things from it. Johnny's mother taught him and his sisters how to feed the chickens. There were many family chores to do, but they all learned what needed to be done and they worked together. Teacher Hannah, are all families like Johnny's? Sadly, no. Some children are born in a family where they are not taken care of. That's why we need the help of the society and the government to protect the children in those kinds of situations. That's sad. I'm glad I'm learning about our rights so that I can help others too. That's right, Sarah. We all have different kinds of families, but the message we can learn behind Johnny's story is for all of us. We can learn from Johnny's family that when we help each other, there is more love in our families and we are happier and our families are stronger. Why do you think families are the best place to grow up? In a family, we have people who love you, keep you safe, and show you how to do right things. I want you to say this sentence with me. Families make us stronger no matter what they look like. I hope you will always remember that. Do you still have a picture of your family that you drew from our last lesson? That's great! We are going to use it for our thinking activity. I want us to look at our drawing and think about what makes a family stronger. Then, let's write a list of the things we thought about. You can pause this part of the video to give you more time to think. How many things were you able to write down? That's good! I want to share mine with you. I wrote down what makes a family stronger. Number one, talking nicely to each other and being honest with our feelings. Number two, spending time to learn or experience someone else's interest like gardening with mom. And number three, listen to what others have to say. This list is just an example. Your list will be different from mine and that's okay. 
what we need to remember is that when we help each other, there is more love in our families and we are happier and our families are stronger. Thank you for joining me and Sarah in our lesson today. Will you share the list we made with your family? Amazing! Oh, by the way, I just heard from teacher Karen and she said that she will be back for the next lesson. I'm so excited! Are you? That's great! Thank you for watching this video. I love learning with you. Bye-bye!